Sup everyone. Now normally I say out of the uh, big topics, the controversies, if you will. However, this thing is just too important for, to me just to let it slide. And I know that no one's going to care about this since, well, I'm just an insignificant channel with just a little over 100 subscribers. But I just feel that this is something that I need to say. And I feel like it's something that is very important to not only me, but a lot of people. Um, so, in the meantime, enjoy my rant that will probably be very disjointed. So, in case you all didn't hear recently, YouTube fucked up again. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use swearing since, well, I know I'll be demonetized, but let's be real, I can't be monetized if I'm under a thousand subscribers, so... Might as well use the advantage I have. Uh, joking aside, so what happened was there was a video from Moist Critical where, and you know, Moist Critical, he is a commentator. His commentary is actually really funny. I do enjoy it. Anyways, there was this video of this, I think it, of this Russian, yeah, I think it's in Russian, um, uh, road rage video where these Disney characters come out of the car and beat up the road rager, and obviously, um, it is more than likely staged, however, YouTube uh, decided that that video was worth removing. Moist Critical tried to appeal it, and then he got a strike, and then what happened right after that is Team YouTube sent out a tweet saying, confirming that a member of the team has reviewed this video and the decision stands. Footage containing graphics, content, fights, beating, with the intent to shock, violate our community guidelines. Since you were in touch with a partner manager, they'll be the best person of contact to answer questions you may have and this just goes to show how hypocritical YouTube of the platform is I mean you could see the shit from a few years ago but now it's just getting like unbearable um, I'm not even gonna talk about the whole leafies here thing let's see here um, they still live I'm not gonna say his channel name because I don't want to give him any notoriety but you all damn well know who I'm talking about there is a cat abuser who's still on the platform. Yes, the motherfucker who beats and kills cats still has a platform on the site. Let that sink in. Pedophiles still have a platform on the site. That's just the creators. That's not even getting the content they still out on the site. There's still animal abuse that's alive and well. Let's see here, this video. Puppy stuck in sewage, ditch, cry for, ask for help. Rescue dog story. You have all these fake rescue channels that stage rescuing of these animals, which is abuse when you actually stop and think about it. Because you guys didn't take down the uh, piece of shit that was abusing animals, you, he now has a little cult of followers who have videos posting the same thing. Um, of course, this was something that was brought to my attention that Moist Critical uh, brought up. So here, this comment said, uh, I got recommended a video of a deer getting hit by an airplane landing gear and literally exploding into red mist. And then Team YouTube replied with, You can customize your recommendations by tapping and clicking on the three dotted icon below. The video thumbnail, not interested or don't recommend channel. Hope this helps. Oh, and this is from the same platform that thinks suicide is cool, so... Man, YouTube... Uh, you know, YouTube is pretty much a lose-lose situation for any creator. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give a rant on the like content side of things a little bit, just because I want to focus on just how freaking stupid this controversy is, especially since they let things that are way worse than this still on their platform. I mean... I don't even get, need to get into the YouTube kids shit, which is just body horror and mutilation that's being targeted towards children. And how do they combat that? Oh, we'll just take monetization away from anything kid-friendly. We'll just take away any interaction from anything that's kid-friendly, anything that will that is essential for a channel to thrive and such, like, you know, commenting and that sort of thing. We'll just take that away. It's like if you have a um, open cut and the medic comes along and the medic is YouTube here, by the way, and just cuts off your whole damn arm. That's pretty much what YouTube has been doing time and time again. 
It happens literally every single year. It's like, we think that YouTube cannot get absolutely worse, and somehow this crap does. That is just YouTube in a nutshell, and it boggles my mind how there hasn't been an alternative to that has, like, risen up yet with how we are all fed up with YouTube. I mean, so we were going to say Twitch, but that's like a streaming platform. I don't know if that necessarily counts as something on the, like the caliber of YouTube, but you get my point. You let on Nick Avocado, who abuses the copyright strike system. Um, in fact, he's not the only one. You let several people on the platform that just constantly abuse the copyright strike format. This is not getting into the whole music community, how you let record labels bully uh, the music community, whether they're just discussing music, whether they're reviewing music, whatever. Um, heck, there was even a video of with the whole Katy Perry uh, lawsuit thing where there was someone who's actually supporting uh, the losing side of that lawsuit, which was uh, Katy Perry's side, which was, I think the label was Warner Bros. Entertainment, and Warner Bros. themselves actually flagged that video, even though it is tactically under fair use. So, just goes to show. I think that response earlier just shows that YouTube has a very clear bias towards wanting to get rid of certain creators off the platform and are just trying to use the loosest of loopholes just to do it because other people have done way worse um, and they just get a slap on the wrist. The people that they don't like get very severe penalties. YouTube is in such a degenerative state that the platform greatly, greatly prioritizes quantity over quality. Now, this has been a notable thing for years. Um, and in fact, there's this whole like advice that people give on YouTube, which is if you wanna grow a following, you have to upload at least once a week. I don't think that's very accurate. I think with the way that YouTube is now, it is once a day. And coming from someone who tried to make an effort to upload once a day, I personally couldn't do it. I was extremely burned out by it. It is something that is extremely hard to do. This kind of thing is a death sentence for a lot of channels on the platform. It severely limits the kind of uh, content people can make. You really are limited in your options. Pretty much the only things I can think of that you can really do um, are just pretty much videos that are either edited streams, I mean edit, edited from Twitch streams or commentary videos. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be someone like Ryan Higa. He's the best YouTuber, by the way. Someone who's been with the platform since 2006, and YouTube will not give a shit about you. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, he has at least taken a long break, if not quit YouTube completely. I do not blame him. This platform is absolutely garbaggio. I don't think I need to reiterate the fact that YouTube does not care about you, YouTube does not care about you, YouTube does not care about you, and YouTube does not care about you. We can see that they're clearly um, shifting towards being just another glorified uh, TV thing with their push for late night television and just nothing but like music videos and stuff. I mean, go to trending right now. It doesn't matter when you watch this video. Uh, you could watch this right now, you could watch this tomorrow, you could watch this in a month. And I guarantee you, when you look at trending, it's either going to be late night show, news, or some music video. And that's going to make up a vast majority of it. And there might be a few YouTube kids videos in there for good measure. And if you're lucky, there will be a, a, one of the more popular YouTubers videos in there, like, uh, I don't know, Mr. Beast or PewDiePie or whatever. Um, that's if you're lucky. When it came to the, uh, sorry, I'm going back on uh, the animal abusing channel. When it came to that, um, after it was rightfully mass flagged and reported, uh, YouTube's response was, we took down the videos of the animals being abused. Um, that's it. 
a slap on the wrist. He goes out and violates not only the terms of service, but more than that. I'm sorry, I'm getting so, if you can you can tell, this makes me so angry. Like... I'm doing this like late at night and I'm trying so hard not to yell because of how furious I am right now. <sighs> Ask yourself, what the hell is the point, you know? And this is coming from someone who doesn't even make money off of this, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. Other people on the platform who this is their whole livelihood, you could be just completely fine and not actually like, you know, violating any of the rules and, you know, you could be like the most clean, like content creator on the platform, but, you know, eventually YouTube is just gonna throw you in a ditch, they're gonna pad it up with, uh, what mud, and then after that, they are going to uh, put concrete bricks on top of it. So, yeah. Yay, YouTube. I don't know what the fallout of this video of mine is going to be. I don't know if this means I'm going to get a strike. I don't know if this means I'm suddenly going to be vanished with three strike termination. I'm going to lose my YouTube account or whatever. But... This is something that needed to be said, um, regardless if no one views it or one person views it. I want other people to talk about this, even if it means my rant gets overlooked. Um, there are other people that I definitely feel um, may have more of a right to talk about this than I do because, you know, they make money off this platform and I just wanted to get this out of the way, this sort of thing, it's definitely very hard to be optimistic about the platform. Where's the bright future in this? How can YouTube redeem themselves? I mean, they are constantly trying to top themselves on shooting themselves in the foot. I don't know if you can tell, but like, I am honestly on the verge of just bursting into tears right now. And I'm not just saying this because I'm some fanboy of Mo Moist Critical, though as I said earlier, I do enjoy his content, I am subscribed to him, I think he's really funny, but, you know, it's just been going on for far too long, but what the hell can we do about it? Every single alternative that YouTube has just crashed and burned hard. YouTube doesn't care about us, and now, as I said, as someone who is on the spectrum, after I upload this, I'm probably gonna have like 69 nice different points that I'm gonna be furious I didn't use. I wanna end this on a positive note though and say that, um, and this is to anyone that's watching, uh, whether you're a subscriber of mine, whether you're not, you're a YouTube content creator or you're just a viewer, um, I just wanna thank each and every one of you for taking your time out of your day or night to watch an Aspie's disjointed rant. And I hope you all have a great day.